Hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I've got Night Out Lacquer, Priori and Cantanto. And I'm going to use one of those acrylic plates. I've started off with Meltix Formula 2 and here is Night Out Lacquer. And I'm not going to keep butchering the name. It's gorgeous though. It's like a teal blue jelly with just all kind of yummy goodness in it. I am trying to cap that teeny tiny free edge first. And then I'm going to go in with my first coat. I decided not to fight it and just go ahead and go with the short nails on this hand. I, I just get tired of patches and breaks and gluing and just dealing with it. So I just decided to go on and take this hand all the way back. They are bona fide nubs. <laughs> Nubbins. So here's our second coat, and this is just so pretty. It's got so much uh, yummy goodness in it. It's filled, just chocked full of all kind of little flakies, multi-chrome flakies and shimmer. It's just gorgeous. I'm going to top it with the Fast and Hard from Vibrant Vinyls, get it to dry down so that we can do some stamping. It's just so squishy and pretty. Love, love, love this one. Hi Woody, how you doing? So there's a swatch photo of it on its own. I'll be using XYL12. And I know they're hard to see. You can't see them very well. But, and I've also got my Beauty Scraper and my AliExpress Stamper. As well as my Burt's Bees on my Digits. And I'm using that Silver Mercedes again from Pure Ice, just a silver polish to stamp with. And the thing about acrylic plates is you can scrape, 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 scrape. You can scrape the mess out of them. They're a little different than the metal plates on that. Tapping down all the flyaways. And we're going to do that image again. So I, got, I liked it because it had some open circles and some closed circles, and I just figured, you know, let's give this one a go. I am using a little tape to clean up in between. I do use pure acetone to clean up these plates. It has not affected them at all. And then I'm going to use this other little heart image for my other nails. It's like a double heart. So I figured since my nails were really short, I would take advantage of that and use this plate that's got some of the shorter images on it. So you might be seeing a lot more of these purple acrylic plates until these nails grow back out. I do clean off my stamper on a lint roller. And like I said, I definitely use pure acetone on that stamping plate with a cotton ball for my cleanup. Sorry, I'm out of frame. So here we go. I'm going to go in with a little piece of tape and get up the excess nail polish off of my fingers. And it comes up really good when I remember to use the Burt's Bees. I'm going to top it again with the Fast and Hard from Vibrant Vinyls. I'm trying to be very careful. I didn't use any smudge free top coat this time, but I figured this one would probably be okay because it dried really quick. <laughs> and Woody's back again. So there it is. I have a swatch photo coming up. I hope you enjoyed this one. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think about it. I want to thank you for watching. Until next time, be good to yourself.